Anyways, uh, we now know who the president of the United States is. Last week was yeah. when they announced it. It was right after we stopped recording. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we cut cameras, they, I realized... They knew. They, they had it, like, ready to go then. I thought it was going to mm-hmm. take a few days. Oh, yeah. When we cut cameras, like, I remember I looked at the voting map and, like, all of the blue wall was red. <laughs> and I was like, damn. And Mucho was like, no, like, it's not counted yet. They haven't counted the big cities. Like, we're still good. Like, it's fine. Once they count the big cities, like, it's going to come in and it's going to flip. And I'm like, bro, like, they're projecting red. And was like, no, 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 no. It's because it's rural. It's rural right now. But once they count, like, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Detroit, like, those big cities, it's going to flip. Don't worry. Yeah, By the right. time I got home, I'm not lying to you guys. Oh, By the time I got home, yeah. all I heard was when I opened the front door, that fucker won! That fucker oh. won! And my mom was just losing her shit. Oh. So Yeah, man. So PSA to all y'all people down there who are very frivolous with your activities, you better stay on point now. Better get some 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 insurance. Well, I mean, not Some hospital all hospital visits about to be expensive. Yes, well, not all. Well, not all red states have overturned Roe v. Wade, right? That's not like it's not every. It's certain states, yes, but not yeah. all states that mm. are now red overturned Roe v. Wade. I don't know what it's going to look like in the future. The states, the states that Canadian women say uh, men treat them very well. <laughs> Okay, hold yeah, on. Those are all good. <laughs> you better go get a guy from Wisconsin yeah. now. You better go back Sucks. to the blue states. Uh, <laughs> better go to you, North Dakota. The thing is, he all the seven swing states were mm. red. Yeah, facts. They swung. The whole blue <laughs> thank you. The oh. whole blue wall was red. No. Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan, she needed to win. Right. If he won one out of three, he was, was gonna done. win. Yeah, but, but he won all three. Oh, yeah. It was an ass whooping. The only blue Molly states, Wap. I believe, yeah. are California, New York, uh, Washington State. Uh, what was in the South? I'll be real with you. I tuned out the next day. I'm like, I'm. <laughs> oh, I'm you not, were depressed? No, not really. I, I, because <laughs> I'm like, I live in Canada. I know there's knockdown effects, I'm, I'm but, but. I just didn't want to go on social media the next two days because I knew everybody I follow was just going to be, be like a, wild yeah. depressed and be like the world's ending. Like, mm. I, like I followed the um, the political news a little bit. So I so I, I just say that to say I can't fact check what states were blue. I don't know. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot. It was mm. not a lot. I think, yeah, Arizona was also red. Mm-hmm. Texas was red. Georgia was red. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, it was only like the West Coast a bit. I think Hawaii... And New York. And I'll, well, what I did gather from, you know, when I when I came back online was that this was the first time that this is the first time that uh, Republicans won the popular vote in 18 years or Shit. since 2004 and 16 years since Bush. Yeah, since Bush in 04. And before that, I think Reagan. So Jesus. it's very rare that Republicans <laughs> win the popular vote. Because that's the whole thing. Like, destroy the electoral college. This is all fake. Why do we care about swing states? Blah, blah, blah. None of that mattered. Mm. This guy, if you just threw the ball out and said, who gets the most votes? That guy won. He represents America. He basically does. So you have now you have to grapple with that. In 2016, when Hillary won, I mean, sorry, when Hillary lost, you could have been like, hey, Hillary still won the popular vote. Mm. She still had the people. Kamala didn't even have the people. <laughs> That's yeah. That is facts. And also, it's a Republican Senate. Oh, shit. Republican president. Mm-hmm. And Project 2025 coming, man. There's, they said there were three levels. What is it? The Supreme Court? Is it like in Congress? Something like that. They're all Republican. Do you mm-hmm. need some water? Like, what's know, going on over there? <clears throat> I'm trying not to cough in the mic. I have water. Read the scientist's voice. Who? Mariah. <laughs> oh, Mariah, my fault. Well, also, yeah, um, we reported fake news last episode. We have to clear that up. Mariah, the oh. scientist, did not cancel the rest of her tour because she was in Toronto. Yeah. I mean, but didn't she? She s- took. She might have taken a couple of days off, but she, she did. Well, she did cancel, I think, one that or two day, shows. That, whatever show that was. I can't remember. That's because she heard our podcast. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Gotta make it up for Toronto. We're the reason. <laughs> Maybe. We're the reason. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. So regardless of that, Trump is president. Um, 
He made a few opening statements. <laughs> One was crazy about like the gender thing in the United States. Like, oh, he got to business quick. Hey, he got he got to work immediately, and he made a statement basically saying that. When he comes into office, day one, basically said there will be two genders recognized under the federal law of the U.S., and that's male and female. Um, and and he made sure that, like, those two genders will be identified at birth. He said... Did Caitlyn Jenner take away her vote? Oh, okay, then. What happened? Also, he said that there will no be, like, there won't be any, like, trans or, like, gender fluidity taught in schools if any child is i guess like conditioned or being coddled about their gender identity like they will face repercussions the teachers will um what else did he say he said when it comes to youth and minors with like hormone blocking and stuff taxpayer dollars will absolutely not be going towards minors when it comes to gender blocking or not gender blocking sorry hormone blockers or any type of like hormone treatment for like for kids trend, right? yeah for, for youth specifically under but, 18 and sports and sports. He is banning transgender. From competing from at compete all in any capacity? In, I mean, I, t from what I understand, and please Google this if it's wrong, like a trans woman cannot compete in a women's sporting event. For sports period or just for kids? I think that's for sports period. Yeah, sports period. So a trans man also can't compete against men. Yes. I mean, I saw a TikTok where a girl was like, for everyone who was trans and voted for Trump, he basically said, fuck you, you're a boy. So, mm. And it's true. If you were trans and you voted for Trump, and now to see that he's saying this, like, what is what are you standing on? Played yourself. But, but, but real quick, though. There's a lot of those people that voted for him on some shit, and he is completely gutting all the things that would mm. be beneficial there to There was them, a like, trans for Trump thing. Yeah. I mean, but like, he there's, basically there's Puerto just, Ricans for Trump. So. Right? If you're a trans man, right? Like, let's say, like, you went from woman to man. Right. Just let them play against men. Because, <laughs> like, even... I didn't want to say it. Like, you're, that's not really good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you feel me? <laughs> like, no matter what side of the fence you sit on, it's not going to change anything. I, I'm a hooping. I'm whooping them. <laughs> Like, what are we doing? Like, oh, why, do you, why do you care about that point? I'm so, I'm confused. I was stuck on that. Yeah. Nah, Caitlyn's I'm, still I'm, lacing them bitches on you. What? Really? What? Would you whoop Caitlyn Jenner? Oh, I, I didn't mean that Caitlyn. Wait, Caitlyn Clark or Caitlyn Jenner? I, yeah, I didn't mean that Caitlyn. <laughs> I think Caitlyn Jenner. If you were Caitlyn Jenner with one-on-one. -on -one. Basketball? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a 100 meter dash 20 years ago, maybe not. <laughs> but, but... <laughs> But basketball, yeah, yeah, for sure. Interesting. Okay. Caitlin Clark, no. Like, if Caitlin Clark turned into a man, then no. She yeah, got she's me. taking she your got spot me. on the team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got me beat. But they are still going to be lacing them bitches. Yeah. yeah but, I feel like we're But, yeah, I don't want to yeah. make too much levity of it. That is that is messed up, what Trump is saying. Oh. Yeah. I feel like... Um, Conservatives really have this really bone to pick with with trans people. Like they have this deep seated fear about like just being in a washroom and then like trans people waiting in there for them to get them and stuff like that. Like this is to really, get them. I don't know. Like no, but like, it's a fear. No, yeah. like this like, is what like, are they so worried about? With he's the able to like he pretty like th think about it. He went and did his speech, and this is like one of the first things he said. This is at the forefront of everybody's mind. Um, the guy that runs Twitter that you know he's giving a whole crazy position to and everything. Ugh. You know. I blocked him. Uh, good. Oh, Elon. Blocked his ass. I'm, I'm about to. He's getting insufferable. And because mm -hmm. he owns the place, he can just make sure his tweets are always on yeah. my fucking yeah. time. And, it, and it's getting annoying. But I don't know. I've seen him tweeting about how, like, uh, his son or his 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 child is dead because his child is trans. And His child is dead? No. He's he's saying that dead his child. Dead to him. Yeah. He's saying his child Elon is dead. Elon said that? Yeah. Dead to him. Because yeah. his, his child is trans. His child is trans for real? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and Two of them, I think. Both of his kids are just, trans? Just Google that just to fact check, but I think two of them. Can you also, while like figure out, can you, the official thing that Trump is giving, he's putting him in charge of some shit that I think is kind of crazy, but um, just Elon seems to be very, very about this. He calls it the woke mind virus. Yeah. And that's what infected his kid, mm -hmm. you know? And it just seems like there's legislation. There's all these things that are getting put into place. Like they look at like, 
that woke shit yeah. as as like a disease, you know? What? Just one, eh? He's a uh, transgender daughter and he what disowned them? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. What? So the, the You can see he's got a bit of a bone to pick then, Yeah, right? he, he he does have a bone to pick, but my whole thing about that with Elon, he's talking about the woke mind virus with leftists and whatever, and they turn quote unquote woke, is like on the same on the sorry, on the other side of the coin, like there's a whole thing where the algorithm is turning boys into a Republican and right wing too. Right. It's, bring, yeah. it's bringing him to a red pill or whatever, to mm-hmm. Andrew Tate and stuff like that. So if you're going to talk about that, then you do have to talk about the other side too. Yeah, and there's Gen, a whole- And how Gen Z point. and Gen Alpha are getting ra- radicalized in a more Republican or alt-right way as well. So it's like, fam, if you're mad about the woke mind virus, then you're kind of missing half of it because why do you have such a big following now? The algorithm, The algorithm is getting fed towards you. Yeah, it all it works in his favor. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I I just think it's interesting because I used to be like, I used to be like, yo, they're this is just they're trying to find a new slur. Like they they that, that's how they're kind of saying woke, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't. It, white people act like putting Little Mermaid as black is like them having to like give reparations back. Like, I, I I don't know. I don't understand why it bothers them, like, so, so much. But at the same time, Because too, they know they're becoming the minority. Yeah, which is Slowly crazy. but surely, white people will be the minority. Which is... Which I think is one of the reasons mm. why they're going to... Or they have overturned Roe v. Wade, right? And, and what... Yeah, I, that's, that's, a, that's a big uh, talking point behind what it. What I yeah. think is crazy about that, too, is because American politics are so popular and so polarizing and, like... Prolific in a sense, like it's hard to get away from. I see a, and I see and hear a lot of this shit here, and we're gonna have an election pretty soon too. Mm-hmm. And I just feel like a lot of these talking points, a lot of the sentiments that people feel, is very much how sentiments. All those, sen- yeah, my bad, my bad. Sorry, I, I don't want him to kill you for that. Oh, I didn't <laughs> no, hear it. Sorry, you said sed- sediments. No, I oh. just all all that all that blue energy, all that like anti woke stuff. I feel like is gonna get a lot more rampant um, here too. Oh, for sure, because what happens in the south makes its way to the north. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, it, our turn is next, right? And uh, Stephen A. Smith was on the View because I'm an old middle aged woman at heart, and I watched <laughs> the View. How did that um, come across your desk? Like because I watched the View. Uh, are you dead ass? Yeah. What? Like my <laughs> Wait, you're like 1 p.m.? Whoopi. No, not first of all. It's not 1. I'm pretty sure it's like 10, 10 a.m., oh, okay. 10 or 11. Yeah. But yeah, like my mom usually watches it. And by the time I like, yeah, by the time I'm like, I'm already settled. I had my tea and my breakfast. The view's on. Wow, okay. And I usually watch The View or I'll watch like their YouTube. The View's good. Like it's middle-aged women. Like it's Whoopi, Sunny, Sarah. But like it's a pretty good show. And they have really good guests. But regardless, I think sometime last week or yeah. Last week, they had Stephen A. Smith on, um, and he was great. He had, like, a segment when he was a guest on The View, and he spoke about, you know, Trump being elected and why so many people of color who are, I guess, of higher status, like, they might not support Trump, but why so many of them were not, like, outright against him Mm -hmm. and vocalizing it to that capacity was he made a statement basically saying that, before Trump ran for president, he was very much into sports. Yeah. So with him being into sports, he was surrounded by a lot of black Latino people. So like he was always like hosting sporting events at like Trump casinos or, you know, private events where like it was a diverse group of people. So they never really recognized Trump as a racist. Yeah. Because he was always with people of color. And hosting you know them. I ag- And sorry to cut you off. No, but okay. I-, I agree with Stephen A. Smith on that. And it just came to me because I watched I watched the clip before this show, but Trump essentially had two rebrands because mm. his because you talked about it on the show on the show with Maul right he went I, and I just watched the movie The Apprentice of, of a week ago it was about Trump anyway he had that era where he was known for housing discrimination mm. towards uh, blacks and Latinos mm-hmm. it was through his father but he was the face of it mm. right and then he rebranded. As like basically the socialite, right? And then he turned into like the sports figure and he was investing all this money that he got after he beat the case. And so he was into boxing. He was courtside at the mm-hmm. Knicks games. He was all of that. Trump was on Fresh Prince. He was in Home Alone. There you go. He was on Fresh Prince? Yeah. I didn't even oh, know I that. Didn't even know I didn't that. even know that. I didn't even know that episode, yeah. yeah. 
He came to the house on Friday. Yeah. Oh, I remember shoot. his whole storyline with that. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. that's so that's two rebrands. Like he rebranded from being quote unquote racist right. to being for the people. So now he's back to being racist. By the mm. way, Maul, uh, Nelson Mandela paid for the plane, apparently. That's what the comments were saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, apparently. We were cor- we or Maul was corrected. I guess we were corrected, but whatever. Yeah. So um, sorry. Uh, continue about yeah. like why uh, we were embracing him in the late 90s and 2000s. Yeah, so then that's, to your point, that's what happened. I didn't know about the rebrand, but yes, that's what mm-hmm. Stephen A. Smith was saying. So he said, he told an interesting story, which I found very interesting. He said that in like, two, maybe like two... 2010s, maybe earlier, Trump, because he was so into sports and he was oh, rich, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. wanted to buy the Buffalo Bills. To buy a football team, any type of like sports, major sports league team, you have to be a billionaire. It costs billions of dollars to buy a sports team. So, for starters. Yes, for starters. You are right. He wanted to buy the Buffalo Bills. Apparently, to buy a sports team, you have to go through like serious like background checks. You have to be approved by the league. You have to be approved by other team owners. You got to be in their club. Like you got to. Yeah. yeah. You have to be like like a level of elite. That's like, okay, we have to sell him this team. He wanted to buy the Buffalo Bills. I think it was going on sale for, they said 1.3 or 1.4 billion. Trump only had 1.1. But because I guess his name, whatever, whatever, he was hoping to, you know, get accepted, blah, blah, blah. It turns out that he was rejected from buying the Buffalo Bills. He, according to Stephen A. Smith, when he called and told Stephen A, like, listen, I want to buy the Buffalo Bills. And if any of them decline my request to buy them, I'm going to show them and I'm going to make them beneath me my running for president. And what happened? They rejected him buying the Buffalo Bills. He got that shit back in blood. And he got it back in blood by running. Allegedly, that's what he's saying. That was something that fueled him. From the stories that Stephen A. Smith has been saying, it seems like Trump is very egotistical and he doesn't like to be told no and he will do whatever it takes to win, right? And I kind of also see this angle as well, which Stephen A. Smith, if you guys have a chance, you should watch it. Just search Stephen A. Smith, The View. He was saying that Trump is the type of person that will do whatever it takes to win and he doesn't care how he looks. If someone comes to Trump and says the reason, the only way you're going to win this election is if you pander in the hands of racist, rural, uneducated America, he will do it. So Trump's the white Michael Jordan? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Republicans buy shoes too. Yeah. And he knows, and he knows how fucking passionate they are about the transgender stuff. So it's like, I'm going to just get out there and I'm going to shout on them every single time and I'm going to win the election that way. And then we'll figure it out after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think people, and I think me included, we see all these big cities in America, right? We see like, LA, Houston, New York, all like these blue cities. And we think, okay, like how bad can America be if all these cities are so diverse and so lit and blah, blah. We don't see majority of America, which is those small counties, cities outside of the major hubs in each state, the right? F- the flyover states. Yes. Middle America. You don't exactly. See as much. And even my cousin, who's a doctor who lives in the US, he was saying that to be a black man living in Missouri in St. Louis, he was fine. Yeah. He's like, the second I step out of St. Louis, it's not okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we on the outside look at that. We see, like I said, the big cities. Oh yeah, I'd love to move to New York. I'd love to, you know, live in LA or Houston or Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. But like, we don't realize how rural and problematic outside of those big major diverse hubs the rest of the US is. They have and I think that was very counts. much yeah, yeah, I think that was very much shown in this election. Unless you like you have taken road trips through America, you probably don't take it in. Like I remember we drove to Florida. Oi. And we stopped, we made three stops. We stopped in Buffalo, that's fine. We stopped in West Virginia. Mm-hmm. And we stopped in Georgia. We didn't stop okay. in Atlanta. We stopped in Georgia in like mm-hmm. a random and both of those times when I got off 